Okay, on to the next one. All right, we got a video for this one. All right, this one is about. Um, I'm just take it off of there. I can take it off. Oh, yeah, but that's not what so. This one is about. Um, what is it? This one was about the, the, the woman. Um, the woman wants the, the man to take care of her. She wants she her to treat want to her like a wife before she's one. Yes. And we're just going to let them ex explain it. This is from. Uh, Ooh, the show is Blue Therapy, looks like, but the, the Twitter is I'm, I am, what, W-E-S-I-G-A, what, I'm Wizga, Wizga? And then the, the, next, the second video will be Life of Archie. Okay, here we go. Everywhere I needed to go, my dad used to take me everywhere I needed to go, even when I was driving, he was still taking me where I needed to go. So that's what I expect of Jimmo, just to basically be there for me as my protector and provider. Uh, Jamal, what are your expectations? It's, it's funny she says that because I feel like I do that already. I think the question I've actually got for Deborah is what exactly do you bring to the table? Are you joking? Did I start? That's Ooh. rude. That is very rude. I don't like, should you be asking me that? That's actually <laughs> rude. My okay, that's the first video, and the second one is. It's like this, I thought that we like, in times like this, I thought that we should be elevated to Deborah. Like, this is the reason why we're actually in therapy right now. To actually... Okay, so how are you having to help you? I don't understand. Um, do you even save? Oh, we're not going to discuss about that. But that's what we're not going to do. I don't want to talk about what my savings on TV, guys. Like, you know, that's serious. The fact is, you're my boyfriend, and what I expect of you as my man is to provide for me at this present moment in time. Like I said, when we get married, if we get married, then we'll think about things that I need to do. But for now, you. Well, like, Okay, I All wish right. I wish we had, I think it's a Chris Rock. Run, run. <laughs> okay, do you remember the first the first one sort of? I'm gonna just go in on the whole video, like as okay. the clip as a whole. Okay. She. she okay. You, can I go first? Okay, you go first. I'm just gonna pause it so it stops playing. It's not gonna stop, is it? No, I just want to it. All right, yeah. You're okay. Good. So you're general good. reaction. Oh hell no! Oh, oh, oh. Absolutely no way that you don't want to talk about what you bring to the table and expect us to make it to to marriage. Okay, that's what what are, what are we even talking about? Okay, so it, a couple of points, right? She Jordan is mad. Yeah, I am ups, I am <laughs> upset <laughs> as a married, you know, as, as a husband. <laughs> right? like, what? No, you you do not get to tell me what I need to do for you and then tell me that we can discuss what, what you bring to the table, what what you do for yeah, me after, after we married, get married. Right. There's absolutely no way in hell. What are we talking about? Like <laughs> the nerve. The, right. Your your what you bring to the table or what you're willing to do determines whether we even get to that point. Like that from a math equation standpoint, I mean it's not math, but from an equation standpoint, right, that doesn't make sense, right? Why would I Say, yep, I'm gonna lock you in forever, and I, I don't know what's behind door number one, two, or three. That like you're trying to say? Do you like, even have doors. <laughs> he said, Did you say? He said, Did you say? Yeah, and she said, oh, We're not gonna talk about my savings. What do you mean? Uh, yes, we yes we are. Okay, finances. Okay, I'm gonna delve into Corey's side a little bit. Finances are number one reason for divorce. We are gonna discuss finances. We gotta figure out what your current situation is. We gotta figure out where your head's at for your behavior wise and what you're spending. We need to talk about it. Because what I'm not about to do is get married to somebody who, who can't manage money, right? And who wants to spend all mine. I have a genuine problem with that, right? You're, you are not about to get married to me and spend all my money. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we, we, we have to be on the same page, right? If you don't, if you don't have any money, I mean, it, it, you need to get some money. But if you, <laughs> if you don't have any money and you're open with that up front and I still decide to move forward, that's one thing, right? But you don't get to be secretive about your finances and your current spending habits and your behavior surrounding finances and expect me to just take that right then the other part of that second video she was talking about as my her verbatim her statement was as my boyfriend yeah. i expect you to provide for me two things wrong with that boyfriend okay we all got it okay so this is the problem i think nowadays uh, with most people, most people, people want <laughs> boyfriends to do husband, husband activity and they want to be on the girlfriend level. No, no. Boyfriends 
okay, are not obligated to take care of you. Let's be very clear. She missed that about her dad, too. Yeah. <laughs> about her driving places. Yeah. That's a bad relational dynamic, too. It is. Because your dad is your dad. Your dad created you. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Your, da your dad will... <laughs> your dad will always be your dad. I might not always be your boyfriend, especially the way you talk. If you're talking like she is in the in the video, you know what I'm saying? It's about to be real temporary. <laughs> like, ain't no way. Um, yeah. So boyfriends are not are not required to provide. Let's let's get that out of the way. And then it it, it sounds like I mean just so I know y'all can't see the video, but she she's very well done up for somebody who 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 who's very secretive about finances. I mean, she's probably spending a lot of bread. Like she got you know what I mean. She's spending somebody's bag if it's not hers. You know what I mean. So dude is doing his like uh, she gonna run up. Oh, that's why I complain about the six hundred dollar cash app issue because y'all can't get y'all rent stuff cash app. Right. You know, pay taxes on it. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that for that episode. Jesus Christ. Listen oh, to the episode man. 30. But yeah, that, that's what George said. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, for somebody who's, you know, who doesn't want to talk about finances, she looks like she's very, you know, very fiscally blessed, right? So she's spending somebody bag if it's not hers. Fiscally you know what I'm saying? Blessed. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, straight like that. Like, she got some bread. <laughs> and it's probably his bread. So that that's, that is that is ridiculous, right? There's absolutely no way we are going to make it to marriage if you can't talk about what you're bringing to, to bringing to the table and i think the fact that she's apprehensive yeah she's apprehensive and unwilling to even have the conversation so people don't if you don't know right i'm gonna give you some marriage that's always my i always sprinkle a little bit of I always salt bay a little bit of marriage advice in in these podcast episodes right, right. you know what i'm saying so for those who don't know who salt bay is i spring you do, you add a little dab or something on top you know add a little razzle dazzle yeah we're not me? we're not doing a salt bay for the podcast files men do not do that do not open your mouth and catch me on the internet no <laughs> I don't care what restaurant it is. Don't do it with the Fuji Japanese steakhouse with the water. Or don't do don't do none of that. No, that was that on was, the internet forever. Yeah, don't do that forever. Anyways, yeah. um, so bad your marriage advice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, yes, communication. Communication is huge in any relationship, but specifically if you are going to commit. Think about what marriage is, y'all. Or what, let me, not what marriage is. What marriage is supposed to be? Because some of y'all, you know, if I ask y'all what marriage is, you know, no, look, we. Bruh. Yeah, no, he about to go off. Yeah, yeah. I am. But that's that's right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of y'all don't know what marriage is. But uh what marriage is supposed to be, you you are committing yourself to someone forever. You're you're about to lock in, right? For life, right? Till death do us part. Y'all I know a lot of y'all skip over that part in the vows. That's in there. Till death do us part. Um, if you're gonna lock in with somebody forever, you have to be able to communicate with them fluidly, right? I'm talking about the, the when when the ups, the downs, everything in between. Okay, um, finances is one of the first things on the table. If we can't talk about our financial state, you know, when we're two individuals potentially working on coming together as one, we can't come together as one straight mm -hmm. like that. Because why would I? Why would I tie you into <laughs> when I have the option to cut everything off right now? Why would I tie you into everything that I, you know, that I'm planning that I have now and I'm planning to become when you don't want to talk to me about what you currently have and what you're bringing to the table? That's that's a problem, right? communication is key you got to be able to talk to me about it right and I, I, I so personal experience i had to work on my communication okay i did but i'm just saying everybody does but yeah yeah i mean i really did because i'm not even front i was i was a, a <laughs> fee will definitely tell you this i love my wife i was an asshole to the to the 10th degree to the point where i was just saying I was straight up saying stuff like we'd be having conversations and i'd be like and this is early me i'm talking about when we're dating I, look, why, you know, I would say how I feel like you, you did something. Stupid. Else. Yeah, exactly. That's that's dumb. Why, why the fuck would you do that? And she's like, oh my gosh, it's start crying. I'm like, okay, well, when you're done crying, we still got to talk about it. Like that, that's the level of, and it's not that I'm bragging. I'm just letting you know where my start was in communication levels when we were dating versus where they are now. Yeah, don't don't tell your wife she's doing stupid things. Don't. Don't talk. You should talk. Not even your wife. Like that. Don't, I mean, don't, <laughs> yes. <laughs> stupid. Let's be clear, you person spot low. You got credit card debt, aren't that stupid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I learned about communication, and it's literally 80% how you say things and 20% of the content, right? So what I, then I learned that in marriage counseling. Shout out to Brother Smith. I appreciate you, bro. Um, that was my officiant as well as my marriage counselor. He taught me how to communicate. And, and that, that helped me significantly. That's probably one of the best things I think I've learned 
in marriage, right? Because not only am I able to have a conversation without taking it to 10, uh, it's actually an efficient conversation, right? Mm. We we bring, we introduce the topic, there's an exchange back and forth, and there's usually, you know, there's, I mean, there's some type of result, which usually ends up being some type of compromise, right? Something in between, right? Uh, if you come at someone aggressively with the same information, so remember I just told you I was an a-hole before, and some of the stuff I was saying, my wife would immediately, well, my girlfriend at the time, would immediately shut down. So there was nothing else that could be said after that, right? We, she doesn't care about, you know, the financial conversation because I just told her what she just bought was dumb. Like, you know what I mean? You, you don't want to start off with a derogatory statement or attacking somebody's behavior, even if you do really feel that way, right? There's better ways to say it, right? I would never, I, you, you, I don't want to say I never. You, you shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't tell somebody their action or their behavior is dumb, right? You could say you don't agree with it, and this is how you know you suggest that they handle it going forward. If you're going, if we're continuing to move together as one, right? You you got to kind of like pre preface, preface the conversation and and relax your tone, say it in a um in a yeah in a more relaxed way, and and just make sure that you're actually open to communicating, right? Because I will say when I improve my communication, we start having more of, of efficient results. Um, I got to hear some of the reasoning behind some of the decisions that were being made or some of the, you know, some of the, the thoughts or ideas that were being expressed and that, that helped long term, right? So bringing it back to this video, she, <laughs> this, this lady, I do not, uh, I got efficient communication right? I was just about to be mean. Look, <laughs> this lady is saying things that I don't agree with, okay? And I, I don't think... I, I agree with the guy in the sense that it need, these things need to be discussed. Hence, why they're in therapy. I believe you said the show is a therapy show, correct? Yes, correct. Yeah. He, and he said this too. He said this is why we're here. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, he, so the fact that he's in therapy. So, let me just tell you a little, again, a little, little bit more advice. And I'm going to hand it over to Corey so he can finish it off. Um, guys, if we like you, we're going to put in the extra effort to make it work, right? If we, I'm not going to therapy for somebody who I'm not genuinely interested in becoming my wife, right? Let's be clear, Okay. I, you know, I might go to therapy for myself to make, you know, to work on myself and make myself better. But if I'm going to therapy with you, it's because I genuinely care about you and what we're talking about and trying to make this work, right? So the fact that he's even there for most guys, because I, I mean, I mean, we can get to a lot about how therapy is even taboo, especially specifically taboo in the black community, but it's really taboo for males in the black community. You know what I mean? Men don't get help, let alone, you know what I mean? Black men especially, specifically yeah, do not get help. Or mentally or physically or financially. Or, yeah. Right. Help is like... And, you know, it's almost like curse word does. Like, well, you know, I don't need that. You know, you, we, we have to put on this this facade that we're always tough all the time. Like, we can't talk about, you know, talk about how we feel. He's, he's genuinely trying because this man is in therapy with his significant other, trying to get assistance. Okay? So give credit where it's due. And he, he it, 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 she, it, it just, it irritates me watching the video. As y'all can see, I was, ex I'm, I'm very excited in this response. Uh, that that she's not even willing to work with him, right? If she just had the conversation, they probably could have reached some type of compromise, right? To the point where he he might be willing to do some things. I don't think he should take care of her, but he might be willing to do some things if she was willing to give within the therapy session. But she was fighting so hard to stay where she was at that very I guarantee very little progress or growth was made as a result of this uh, episode. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I think I don't, I don't, you probably got some other rants, but that's definitely it's his first rant of this. <laughs> okay, so I was gonna say, you're trying to make me mad, yeah. Guys, but. <laughs> Who knows? This, this is responding to a tweet at the Twitter thread, but it says he saw a fresh girl and wonder now he doesn't want to contribute to the freshness. It says she got a nine to five, and he wanted to think she's not getting her own bag. And then I don't agree with anything she says, but she's right about him doing those. That's a those S for her, but that's not. That's the bad. Why? That brother is suffering. The needs to free. He needs to free himself. <laughs> the girl is there for the fast life and not for someone. Yeah. All right. The lie. There you the go. Lie, the the lie. Lie. That's just for any, 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 you know, any preference in that. I don't, you know, you're lying if you're saying, you know, I don't care. Um. Also, it's it's over nine. <laughs> um. So let's talk about what she said. So the first video, she was talking about being treated like, um, you know, how her dad treats her. And then, you know, she expected essentially that same type of treatment from her boyfriend. Let's be clear. And to, in RC, as I always tell everyone I know who's married, you know, in, in a relationship, the rules have changed. Y'all don't know. Y'all here, but you're not out here. Okay, y'all, <laughs> hey, hey, let's go. <laughs> 
Y'all did my go. Hey, that's how good my bars are. That was on accident. Y'all, y'all here, but y'all not out here. It has changed significantly. Like we were less than five years. It's completely different. So now, what I recommend from a financial standpoint and relationally, I would not recommend moving in, delaying it as long as possible, at least until you're engaged. That, uh, <laughs> I would assume they probably already live together, right? So that's what I'm saying. That, but as far as the her, him treating her like you know, her dad or she is his daughter, please. That's bad from a relational standpoint. You know, that's that's your man. That's you know, your soon to be husband. Possibly, if you end up getting married, then if you want to get to the second video, when you talk about not discussing finances, I've already said this before. I've already said this before. I've already said this before. Do not get on the same page when it comes to finance with your spouse. Get on the same page when it comes to finance with your fiance. Obviously, you can go through the therapy. Uh, do not if you, if man or woman, anybody or all the other things you can identify. As. They say that to you. Terminate the relationship. You are either signing up for hell, hell on earth, or, you, or for a divorce. One, one of the two. The, ch the chances that your marriage is going to last and be a happy, fulfilling marriage, quote unquote, is as close to none. Um, the husband treat you know the boy the boyfriend treating you like the wife when you're not married. That's why I said don't not you know delaying getting moving in even though Jordan and his wife can do it. But that, that was different. This that's 2015, 16, 2021. Different different things nowadays. Also too, y'all were twenty, you know, 23, 24. Mm -hmm. I don't know how old they were, but they look closer like our age now, closer to 30. That's you know, the longer not the long the older you are, the less time hopefully you should need to date because you should have more of your, you know, do's and don'ts in order. You shouldn't be I mean you can still figure yourself out. But obviously you're younger, you're still figuring out what you do or don't like. If you twenty eight, twenty nine, almost thirty, it should you should be about two, three months in and be like, Okay, like what are we doing here? Cause you start dating, you know, get over a year to eighteen month time frame and night thirty one, thirty two. This is my disclaimer. So we we did move in together, but I will say my 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 wife paid her share, or my girlfriend at the time paid her share, right? Like I mean, we I think we we did um ratio or percentages. I'm sorry, a pay, right? Percentage based contributions. Yeah, percentage based con for real. Percentage based contributions. You know what I mean? So she paid uh what well, you know she paid her her I think her, it was not her half, but her yeah, percentage. her percentage of her her you know of the of the rent, and I did as well. So it wasn't like you know nobody was taking care of anybody, right? It was, right. They, all your all everybody's income was required to make this thing work, right? Now that doesn't mean I wasn't capable, but you know we we were still trying to figure out whether we you know she and I were going to become we, right? right? So you know you pull up with your pull up with your percentage. Yeah. I'm gonna pull up with mine and pay your bills because that needs to be paid because I'm you know. Not that you can't come to the rescue, but I shouldn't have to because we are two individuals right now trying to figure out if we want to become a group, right? Yeah. So. Also, too, she said getting getting taken care of. Don't, if you want to be taken care of, ma'am, wouldn't you need to be more submissive? <laughs> You you can't come off like, from this, it. Is and, <laughs> this is like I said. People can say all this stuff. Come talk to me in real life. That that's what people probably get upset. The way I talk to you, my first time meeting you, I, you see me talk to Jordan the same way. So then you're like, oh, I thought you know you just treat you know people you don't know. I'm like, no, I get everybody get the same energy. <laughs> I, I'm like this in real life. This is no show. Um, so that that would just be my response. So it's not. All right, you want to get you know taken care of, quote unquote, treated like a princess. All right, princess has no power unless she's Peach. That was Daisy a princess too? It's completely side chain. I think so. A different castle. Yeah, I think, yeah, different castle. But like, let's be clear, she doesn't. She sounds like she from her tone. <laughs> See, hey, look. Hey, counter story your punches. Her tone was not one of someone who sounds like she would be grateful to be taken care of, anyways. Very emasculating comments. It's called a thing of misandry when you mistreat men. It's misogyny. I mean, you know, in the opposite of being misogynist. I think it's called misandry when it's uh, going against men. She didn't. She didn't sound like she was very grateful for what he has done. And then when he brought up just even not even investing, paying off debt, savings, which to my knowledge everyone agrees with, unless they're like Robert Kiyosaki and Grant Cardone who are just crazy, crazy debt. Everyone agrees that you have some money saved. 
and I, she did say, you know, you can tell you know something, you know, it's a show. But she was like, I don't want to talk about that, and she said she don't want to talk about it on there. But it's like we can't even talk about savings goals, and that, okay. and that's the one thing too. Like I said, you know, twenty, I mean, two, three months, they probably dating too long. Like that, that, then that, now, now I have to fault him, right? In the sense of that, that's a conversation that really you don't need that much money. What's the first date money conversation? But like, like I said, the older you are, it's like. You don't want to be three months in, then like I said, you'll be out here having this freaky butt naked sex on vacation. <laughs> and like I talked about. <laughs> Why you being weird to me? And we were talking about on episode uh, 18 about doing some, some health stuff. And I was like, I don't care about COVID. Y'all here risking AIDS. Like you have an unprotected sex. And you don't know no savings goal. That's on you. Bo yeah. Both sides. I mean, like at some point in time, you know, there obviously sexual relations occur. And if y'all out here just raw dogging it up. I'm I'm faulting both of you for not having the financial situation, you know, that you want figured out at least and had the conversation about. I can't fault the other person because you, you know, you you are an adult as well. So I know we had the red. Remember red flags? These are all red flags. <laughs> like this hey, whole episode hey, was just red flags, hey, right? Like yeah, just flying. I, it's, and so I agree with Corey. He should have pulled his 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 parachute way. He should have hit the eject button oh, yeah, and popped out that joint. He's been gone. And like yeah, you know, because say savings is usually something people want to do. You talking about paying off debt, understand that insecurity, invest in from debt and security about having a whole lot of debt, invest in security from, you know, you're ignorant about investing, but savings like that, I mean, look, do, 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 do you have money saved now? Okay, let's get some money saved. Like it's, savings is like a simple yes question. Yeah. <laughs> Out of all of the, it's probably the simplest one besides uh, income. Like, he didn't even say how much you say. He yeah, said, do you, you save? save? She yeah. could have answered that yes or no, right? Yeah. But everyone agrees you should have some income. I think <laughs> I think everyone agrees you need to save some money. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you get that type of friction on both ends. Obviously, now this is a woman talking to a man. So, you know, we massage this. But obviously, too, ladies, if the men is like this. But see, the one reason, I guess you say, you know, we like that. But I was like, I already told y'all, but the men's situation, remember at episode nine, cancel this. 20, 20, 25 years old, we need to make at least 75% of the median household income. And for every age they go up, a year they go up in age to year 30, it's 5%. So at 26 years old, you make 80, um, 85, 80%. 27 years old, 85%. 28, 90, 29, 95, 30, 100%. I mean, that, that, and if you if you dating him, that's on you. And if he out here, I recommend he go back to work or get another job. Mm. So that that's why the men, I already said it, it's very, it's very clear cut. Simple on the, the income, because that's very um, objectable and easy um, to understand. So, yep, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be either one of them. Sound like she's not getting what he wants, and it's, it sounds like she, he is definitely not getting what he wants out of it. The fact that they have a savings conversation issue financially is, um, red flag. I wish we had some sirens or something like that. <laughs> not the bad kind of sirens. Oh, yeah, not the good sirens. Yeah, I was talking about fire, fire yeah. police sirens. Okay, yep, you have anything else with that? Yeah, one last thing. Okay. I just so I responded to that comment, right, where it's like she has her own bag. I think it's even more alarming that she has her own money and she still wants somebody to take care of Like, I mean, let's, let's call it what it is, right? That's wild to me, right? You got your own bag, meaning you got <laughs> you got your own income and you want me to take care of you and you want me to answer no questions about your finances? That's even crazier. You'd have been better off telling me you don't got no job. Like, then I, at least I understand the complex of you wanting to be somebody to take care of you because you don't have it, but you got it and you want me to take care of you? You Look, you out your mind, all right? Ain't no way. It's not happening. It's not happening. You got the bread, but you want to spend mine? <laughs> no. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, too, she's asking to be taken care of so she's asking for his resources what does he get to ask for in return look if the quite if the answer is nothing as y'all say i don't like saying this but it's a it's a great counter then just say that if the answer is nothing she gets to say i want all your resources and you just gotta deal with it and just say that ladies but don't say i'm misogynistic so i don't got time for that i've already said this and that's bullshit we got the b4 and the bs right now we got the <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> it's a one it's a letter and a number difference but um yeah i wouldn't uh no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. All right. Last what? That's not my question. Yeah, last uh, last file. Right. File for the episode. This one. There's uh, no. Oh, this there. For this one, there's no.